bad dad out of the week. Oh, and and bad dad out of the week. So you gotta do it in public. So you gotta yeah, be, can't be, you can't scream it. Exactly. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're here at Great Escape Games in Sacramento, California. The 916 rep it. Um, and it's time to talk about best of the week. We're on the road now. We what was your best of the week, Nick? My best of the week uh, was probably playing Feast for Odin. I got to play it twice over the span of the last week. I got to play it with our, our good friend Crookie. It's it's over there. It's over there. Okay. Uh, so I got to play it twice. We recently were gifted this game, and we've been wanting to play it. So when I played it with our good friend Crook, I, we kind of had to fumble our way through it. But we got through it, and then I introduced it to Mike. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and we were like, no trophies for Odin right now? And which is a terrible idea. But we did it anyway. You seem to really dig it. I loved it. I, I liked it a lot. Absolutely. I'm, it's going up and up and up for me. And so That's a game that... Nick benefited by having a couple more plays yeah. under his belt. He crushed me real good. Yeah, but I I managed to not have a negative score at the end. That's, so that's, like, that's, that's a win. We're pretty happy with it's that. Like, it's like patchwork. If you in the positive, you won. You yeah. won. That's all that matters. So my best week was uh, was um, uh, Feast for Odin. I'm just I'm digging it. I'm digging it hard. I'm really am. Yeah. My best of the week was uh, Hot Shots. It's a cooperative wildfire firefighting game. Uh, we got to play with the lovely Miss Karen and us two on the stream. It was super fun. Hi. She's the one holding that. See how that works? All of us. Um, it, but it was super, super difficult. It's what you want in a, 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 a cooperative game. You want yes. to be barely able to win. We played it with like all the hard cards. <laughs> I, don't know that was, I don't even know if that was barely able to win. Honestly. No, <laughs> no so that one hard. I don't think was going to happen. But it was really fun. I like the idea of, of it's a it's a press your luck dice game. Yeah. So, you know, you're trying to see like how much you want to go for. Do you want to take the sure thing or do you want to try to really get some work done? But it might blow up in your face literally. Um, exactly. And it, it just really... The, the max, like the, the wind can change, then a, a strong gust comes, yeah. and living in a place like Southern California that almost burned to the ground, yeah, it, um, it felt very thematic and like, oh, that is bad when that yeah. happens and stuff. Yeah. So, and the wind changes, like, you know, they, they, it should be fine unless the wind changes, and we're all yeah. just like, and then, and yeah, the wind our might burn down, you know, it's kind of, yeah. it's, it's very, and that night game, particularly, it's like. Just, I didn't know much about the game in terms of how to play it and stuff, but yeah. looking at the box, like, it was not what I thought it was, and that was a good thing. Okay. Not that I thought what I thought was going to be bad, but it just the yeah. whole kind of press your luck, trying to get the die faces you need is yeah. not what I was expecting from that game, and it was a, a nice little surprise. Fire Yahtzee. Yeah. That's uh, really what it was, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's our best of the week. Again, we're on the road. We're going to be going to Dice Tower Con, so if you see us, say hello. Uh, stop on by, and you'll see videos coming out this week, so we'll see you uh, next time, but that was our week. What a week. True. Nailed it.